the path to optometry school can be a real pain in the wallet with OAT sign-up fees, application fees, supplemental application fees, travel costs, the looming tuition over your head. So should you take your precious money to do better on the OAT? And here's the very simple answer, yes and no. If you're anything like me, you want to do what you can to save as much money as possible. Let's get to the bottom of this question and make optometry easy. But make sure to watch until the end, because I'll tell you how you can get one of the cheapest online courses for an extra 15% off. So getting right into the thick of things, can you do anything for free? And the answer is yes. I actually went into studying for the OAT with a mindset of I'm not going to spend any money. And that worked up until a point. A lot of the foundational things that you can do to get yourself mentally ready and hyped up for the OAT, you can do for free. And familiarizing yourself with a lot of the topics can be done for free as well. So what can you do? The first thing is sign up for as many question a day kind of things that there are out there. And I'll go ahead and link all these things in the description, but you can go ahead and go to kaplan.com and do their email list of question of day. You can go to Crack OAT and Oat Booster and all of these other things, and they have some incentives where you get a few practice problems if you sign up, but then you pay to unlock more. And you can also follow people like Oat Booster on Instagram that post little questions of the day thing on Instagram as well. So there's a lot of things you can do out there to familiarize yourself with a lot of the material. And there's also an entire free practice exam on the Kaplan website. But all of these things are kind of like gateway drugs and they'll get you wanting more of the product. So yes, these are good, but they're not all you need. And so a lot of them will just show you what those websites can do for you. And the next really big thing you can do is try to get like a hand-me-down book. In my pre-optometry club, we had a Kaplan book that, the, that was the club, so you could pass it around and use it. So that's what I used mostly was a Kaplan book. They're not too expensive. You can check down in the links in the description. And getting those resources like hand-me-down books can really help, but what is best, and that is a course. So as far as levels of courses go, you got people like me and other YouTubers who have videos that can help you with the OAT. And a level above that is people who have videos and also courses like Chad's Prep. And then above that is like an entire course that you can buy with practice problems, practice exams, everything that you need. You get what you pay for in a course. That meaning that usually it's worth it. Like if you want a better score, Forking up the money and paying for that program will get you a better score. I know three people who have done courses. I know I probably know more who have, but three people who I know and have asked, and they got a 330, a 360, and a 370 on the exam. And so it's a small sample size. But personally, I only know people who have scores that they wanted or way higher from taking these courses. So from what I've experienced, those are way worth it. And I actually wanna know how each of the courses have gone for you. So if you're too embarrassed to put your personal score in the comments, go ahead and say, I have a friend who did this course and got this on the OAT. So basically, what's in a course? And that actually brings us into the part of the video where Oat Booster was generous enough to let me use their course to show you what their course is like. And a lot of their formats are the same, so not every course is going to be the same, but you can kind of tell what's in a purchasable course. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what your typical course will have inside of it. Um, most of them will have a dashboard like this, and on the side, be able to go through topic by topic with the biology, general chemistry, organic chemistry, reading comprehension, physics, quantitative reasoning. And then they'll have some bonus study guides that will will vary uh, depending on which course you have, study guide, questions, video content, full length tests, crash courses, and test results, as well as other stuff. And so you can really go and focus on what you really need to study when you need to study it. Now that you know what a course has, if you're interested in Oat Booster, let me spend the next few minutes of the video going in depth so that if this product is on your mind, you can be sure about your purchase. At the end of this section, I'll tell you where you can get your 15% off discount. So let's say we need to work on general chemistry, which 
is usually the lowest score that you'll get in an OIT, either that and or physics is usually the hardest ones. And you'll go through and you'll see all the practice tests they have. I know that they have timed and not timed, which is super helpful. And you can go through and see, get video tips on what you missed. And then they have study notes of each chapter that go coincide with the videos. And then if you're a flashcards person, they actually have downloadable Anki decks, which if you're not familiar with Anki, get familiar with it because it helps so much in grad school. So this Anki deck um, will be really helpful to study if you're someone who just likes to do a couple minutes of flashcards each night to remind yourself what you've learned. And then extra questions uh, just beyond the practice exams. So if you just want to focus in on a particular chapter, you can just do some practice exams or practice questions with that chapter as well. This is super helpful and it's honestly one of the better ones I've seen. But beyond that, let's go ahead and um, take a look at some of the things you can do once you're doing some exams. So let's look, we wanna do a physics one, study it, and this is exactly how the OAT looks. It's very similar to this. Once you begin, you can um, mark things, mark questions and go back and review them at the end. So let's go ahead. I don't know if I'll answer any of these right. And then we'll go ahead and review what we've learned. Okay, exactly how the OAT is. It'll show you the ones you've marked, ones you've skipped, give you options to go back and review them. Oh wow, I got some of them correct. That's actually crazy. I can't believe I just answered those three correct. I'm just guessing. Maybe, maybe I did well on the OAT because I have good luck. Who knows? But it'll break down the concept, break down how hard the question is, exactly how to walk through it. Let's go ahead and go back to the biology section and break down some of these videos. So I love the videos because they really, um, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I learn best in a video format. So you can go ahead and just chapter one, go ahead and watch a video about it. And I know Dave with Oat Booster has been updating things a lot lately. So this might look a little different than when you get it, but super nice. Cellular respiration. And one thing while you're studying for the OAT to keep in mind, the OAT is a lot like optometry school and the things you need to know for physics translates well to optics. Biology translates so well into the classes you need for boards and your basic science questions. And the reading comprehension and quantitative reasoning you really need to be a doctor. And it's super easy to use. So let's go ahead and look at study notes. Now study notes are great. I, I don't like to learn with notes, but what's good about these is they're PDF format. So you can transfer them between devices pretty easily and they break it down in a, in a way that's super nice. I know that sometimes textbooks can just flat out suck sometimes. And so uh, if you look at it here, they're just broken down point by point exactly in a format that if you didn't know, now you do. So one thing that's cool is you can do study guides as well. So you can put yourself through a course that puts you on a time crunch so that you can keep track of your progress and progress even faster. So you can go in here to the study guide and it'll break it down for you exactly what you need. So you can go even a little bit faster or a little bit slower than what the study guide suggests. So it'll break it down exactly how you'll, um, exactly what you need to know about the OAT, the particulars of it, and even makes it easier on you by breaking it down by day. And one thing I love about Oat Booster is that there's very specific help in here. They don't take a general approach. They have even things if you wanted to um, need to register for the O or just have some commonly asked questions about it. They're in here as well. Uh, and pre -op also just pre-optometry help. Um, you can keep track of all your marked questions. They have almost everything I could ever think of for needing in a course. They're either have or are implementing soon. And one thing that's cool is also these crash courses as well. So let's say you had a weak spot and you're like, I don't want to waste time on anything else. I just want to get that weak spot good. I took a practice exam and I know my quantitative reasoning is what's going to be holding me back. You can just join a quantitative reasoning 
um, crash course that they have taught by real people who know this super well. So you'll get some nice uh, personal tutoring time with, with the crash courses that they have available. And for the most important thing is the full length practice exams that is probably the thing that helped me out the most in taking the OAT. So they have seven practice exams on here, which is great. I know I only took about three or four, but that was good enough for me to get a hang of it. And what I would suggest is going through and taking as many full length exams as you can, because going through and going over the answers you missed and so even the answers you got right and why you got them right will help you so much. So that's Oat Booster in a nutshell. Now, the magic of Oat Booster and other courses as well comes from actually spending time in it. So you really don't know how nice and helpful this stuff is until you try and study without it. And go ahead and go down below in the description and sign up for 15% off of Oat Booster. I know I'm impressed from what I've seen here. Go ahead and smash the like button so that this video can reach more people just like you. Uh, share this with someone you know who needs it. Subscribe for more help on your optometry journey, and we'll see you in the next video.